Give it up for Jane Condon, everybody. Jane Condon. this about same-sex marriage, honestly. What's the problem? My husband and I have had the same sex for 33 years. <laughs> There's a lot of talk about safe sex. Safe sex at my age means you turn on the burglar alarm before you go to bed. <laughs> I have two boys. Otherwise, Everything's fine. <laughs> They're killing me. Nobody listens. I would love to have the CIA wiretap me. At last, somebody would be listening. <laughs> I ask them simple questions. I say, guys, where are you going? Well, what are you doing? Hey, when are you going to be back? And they say, bye, Mom. OK, whatever. They blow me off. So I'm thinking, OK. Clearly, I've got to change my delivery. So now I'm there, where you go with? What you do with? <laughs> when you gonna be, when you gonna be, when you gonna be back, ba 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 back, ba 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 back, ba 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 back to their mom stop. We will tell you whatever you wanna know. <laughs> Just don't ever, ever do that again, Mom. Like, it's my fault. They did this to me. They like the rap music. I mean, guys, we live in Greenwich, Connecticut. How ghetto can you and your J. Crew shirts get? <laughs> I hate this music. I can't get out of my head. I'm trying to dust, and I'm there, my hump, my hump. My lovely lady lumps, I like that boom, boom, pow. I got that boom, boom, pow. Kiss you to the phone, I'll see you later on. Kiss you to the phone, see you when I get home. Blame it on the a a a a alcohol. Blame it on the a a a a alcohol. No, this is wrong. My chick bad, my chick good, my chick do stuff that your chick wish she could. Evidently, I don't know. It wasn't there. The bad part, I have started rapping in my real life. I go down to the cleaners and I'm there, fuck up my ticket. Guess you gotta stick it. Don't be a hater, I'll bring it in later. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love my son's first high school girlfriend. What a doll. She comes over, she fills the house with estrogen. <sighs> All of a sudden, everybody's nice to me. And they say, please and thank you, and everybody wears underpants. <laughs> and then one day she dumps my son, my son. So I call her up, yeah. <laughs> and I now look, can we still see each other? <laughs> <laughs> my older boy graduated from college where he majored in religion. <laughs> religion! <laughs> Shoot me now! <laughs> So the job offers are just pouring in. <laughs> then he announces he wants to be an actor. An actor, great, like religion wasn't enough. <laughs> my son, uh, my husband rather, is very cute. Uh, I married up in looks. And his initials are KGB, so he doesn't monogram a lot. <laughs> but sometimes he gets things out of proportion. Do you know people like this? He'll be there, Jane, you left the light on in the kitchen. <laughs> Which to me sounds like, Jane, there's a body in the TV room. <laughs> you ever get the look of disapproval from the one you love? will be the gathering like this, and he thinks nobody notices. And I get the little inhale, the little... Or you get the exhale, the, oh. Sometimes I get the big look of disapproval, the... <laughs> There's a new survey out. It says the average married couple talks for four minutes a day, and I'm thinking, is it really that long? <laughs> you gotta wonder why people do get married. I think a man looks at a woman and thinks, she loves me. She adores me. She's just like my mom. Whereas a woman looks at a man and thinks, I can work with this. 
I always like to ask people how long they've been married. There was a British couple once, and the guy said, we've been married for 18 years, but with the wind chill, it feels like 22. <laughs> I did a show in Atlantic City. This lady had been married for 41 years. And I went, wow, 41 years, how'd you do it? And she looked up from the audience and said, well, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> I did a show in Richmond, Virginia. This couple had been married for 67 years. 67 years. And, and I said, you two are an inspiration. Can you stand up and tell us your name? And the old lady couldn't get up. <laughs> and the husband couldn't remember his name. <laughs> the bad news about my husband is that he snores. Does anybody live with someone who snores? Oh, it's, I, I told my son when he was a senior in high school, honey, you have to graduate because mommy needs your room. Yeah. <laughs> it's so bad, I've categorized them. Basically, there are three. The first one is the cave, the <sighs> Then there's the stalled engine, the <sighs> <laughs> now honey, don't die, he'll do the taxes. <laughs> and the last one is the after sex snore. The <laughs> it doesn't happen that often. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Jane Condon, give it up for Jane Condon. Funny stuff.